Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel. Today I will explain what is value error could not convert string to float in Python. Value error generally occurs when a function receive an argument of the right type but have some inappropriate value. So in this case we are converting string to a float but if we provide a string with any other character than a decimal or numbers it will throw value error could not convert string to float. To check this, let's open our PyCharm editor. This is our PyCharm editor. Let's see when we get a value error could not convert string to float. We have also written an article on this topic. I will be using this article for the reference purpose during my video and I will drop the link in the description box. So let's take this example from this. As you can see, we have a variable string that is temperature and it has some alphanumeric characters in it. What happens if we try to print convert this string to a float with float function and try to print the answer. As you can see the string was containing alphanumeric character in it so we get value error could not convert string to float. To avoid this value error there are several different methods in python. One of them is going manually and changing the code by yourself and then converting that change variable or string to a float. So if we run it now, as you can see, we successfully converted the string into float. But checking manually and removing all the inappropriate character will be limited to small codes. For bigger codes, we cannot do it. It will be very lengthy process. For bigger codes, we have many different types of methods in Python to clean the data and then process it further. We will be seeing them one by one. Let's take the first example. As you can see, here we have price string which contain dollar sign in it and then 5.0. And we want to convert this string to float. So here first we have to replace the dollar sign. So in this method, we will be using replace method. Replace, replace is a built-in method present in Python. It replaces a specific argument with another specific argument. So replace method takes two arguments. One is the argument that we want to remove and the other one is from which we want to remove. So in this case, dollar sign will be removed with an empty string. So there will be no dollar sign left in the string. And then we are converting it to the float. Let's check whether it converted or not. As you can see, we successfully converted the string into float. We can also use strip method. So what strip method do it takes one argument and strip the string with the argument present in it. So it will strip dollar sign from string variable given to it. So if you run this again, we can even change the data so that we can see the difference. So we have given 55.0. $55.0 and we are stripping dollar sign. Let's check whether it converted or not. As you can see, we successfully converted this string. As we know that the dollar sign is present in the left side of the string, so we can even use else strip method that will strip the string from the left side only and will remove the dollar sign from the left side of the string. And if you again change the data and check it, let's check for the $45.0. So let's check whether it converted or not. As you can see, the string got successfully converted into float value. So these were the three methods that can be used to replace the specific or knowing character from the string and then converting it to the float. I hope you understand these examples. Let's take the second example. So here we will be using try and accept block to handle the value error. So what try and accept block do is we use try block and put the code inside it which can throw error. So here we put the block of code which can throw error in the try block and then we accept the errors that can happen during the process in this accept block and print a message if that error occurs. So in this method we are putting the conversion of float in the try block and then we know that it can throw a value error. So we are accepting value error in accept block. And then if a value error occur, the code will print that cannot convert that string to a float keeping the original string. And hence we are using continue statement. If an error occur and then message is printed, then it will continue with the another string 
as we are using a list of strings in this example so here we have elevation as a variable list and the list contain different kind of elevation values some are known and some are not available or unknown so for this we are iterating over the list and converting each of the values into float so as we know unknown and un not available can throw value error so we have value error in the except block and printing and telling python to keep that string as it is and continue with the next iterate or next element so let's run and check as you can see it printed first cannot convert unknown to a float as we know it is an the string contains only alpha characters in it and also cannot convert not available to a float the same goes with the not available so the finally conversion went to 14000.0 12,000.0, 10,000.0, 16,000.0 .0, and other two are kept as it is. I hope you understood this example. Let's take the third example. So in this example, we are handling the value error with the loop or conditional statements. So in the first, we are defining a function that is is number that is checking whether the number is is or not. So in the try block, we are converting the number into float and if it is converted, it will return true and if it throws value error that can happen, then it is accepted by the except block and it will return false. And let's check how we use this function in this process. So we have a list of prices and we all know that the prices were stored with a dollar sign and the prices which were not available was mentioned as not available. So it was pre-known for the first we are iterating over the prices and then for the each prices we are replacing the dollar sign from it. We are using replace method. We can use strip or else strip method also for the prices which have dollar sign in it will be replaced and the things which don't have dollar sign will be kept as it is. After that replacing the dollar sign we are using if statement with the function is function. And we are converting each prices in float and we are printing the price. What is function will do is like for the first case, it will remove the dollar sign from this process and then it will convert 5.00 into float. And if it is a float, then the function will return true and will print the price. And if it is false, it will return false and it will not print the price as after if there is a else statement also for the continue so for the third case no dollar sign will be removed it will not get converted and hence it will be accepted by the except block as it will throw the value error and will return true so if statement will get close and it will come to the else statement and not available will be dropped then and there only so let's run and check let's see the answer so for the first case five is converted into 5.0 and $10 is converted into 10.0 for not available. The continue statement run and it dropped the not available option. We can even add after this to see how continue statement has worked. If we put 11.0 and then run again. So you will see not available was dropped and the continue statement continued with the next price and converted. I hope you understood this example also. So these were some methods in Python to handle value error could not convert string to float. In the first we have seen replace strip and l strip method. In the second we have used try and accept block. In the third we have used multiple conditional statements to handle value error. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you like this video. Please like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more Python tutorials and please hit the bell icon so that you never miss an update. Thank you.